high school basketball season ended last month, and now it's time to hand out some awards for the year. Sports Director Ryan Wing joining us now with our first Dougie of the Year. Mark, the next two days we will honor the best of the best in our area for girls and boys hoops. Today we start with the girls and the Player of the Year, who is, to no one's surprise, Nina's Ali Zabel for the second straight season. Doug Ritchie has more on the UConn commit. Ali Zabel wrapped up her high school career this past season as expected in impressive fashion. The Nina Starr led the Rockets to the Division I state title game, despite always being the target of each opponent. So, for the second year in a row, Zabel has been named the Fox 11 Player of the Year. Yeah, it's just go out and compete. I honestly don't really think about that at all. I think that it's our team that had the target on the back, just because we are playing so well in the postseason. Um, so just using each other and having confidence in one another. The UConn commit averaged 27.5 points per game this season, along with 8.7 rebounds per game. She's a five-star. It's not every single day that uh, someone in the same class as you is going to play for a Hall of Fame coach, the best coach in women's college basketball, you could argue. She's a McDonald's All-American, you know. I mean, coming into open gyms in the summer, uh, just seeing her already in here getting shots up and working on her, her game, perfecting her craft and her foundation, is it's really where, what got her to where she is today. And, uh, super proud of her. There is no question Ali Zabel is one of the best shooters in the country, not just the state. And her 122 three-pointers this year led the state of Wisconsin, boys or girls. No matter what was going on the court, Zabel made sure her three-point shot was always a threat. Right, even if shots weren't falling, just get to the free throw line, adjust yourself, make some layups. Um, you're all good then. But I think really um, this is a testament to like working on it outside of practices and then making sure like when we are in practice, just making sure we're getting those good looks, making sure we're not really forced or anything like that. Obviously, with Zabel, it just wasn't this season. It was four years of great basketball. And Coach Andy Brownell had this to say after the state title game. She has elevated our program to new heights. I don't know if I would have thought that we'd be able to get past the sectional final, all right? But she has a huge reason why, obviously the team too. But she has made all of us better. And without a doubt, I am a better person and a better coach because I was blessed to have the opportunity to coach her for four years. Love you. Thank you. A player like no other. And Nina, Doug Ritchie, Fox 11 Sports. Coming up tonight at 10, Doug and Cody will introduce the first team all area girls selections. They will break down the other five players who are joining Zabel on that first team. It comes as no surprise that Ali Zabel of Nina was named the Dougie's Girls High School Basketball Player of the Year. But who else is joining her on the first team? Doug Ritchie and Cody Krupp reveal the other five players. The most prestigious honor, all of Northeast Wisconsin High School sports. <laughs> Our very own Dougie Awards right now. This is, of course, Doug Ritchie. Doug, Girls Player of the Year might at the same time be the best that's ever done it, at least on the girls' side of things. Uh, no question about it. Um, Ellie Isabel from Nina, the best player that I've ever seen play in this area, the best player I think that's ever come from this area, fourth-ranked player in the nation as a senior. She did everything for Nina and leading them to the state championship game this year. Just a, a true pleasure to watch her this year and her previous three years. Uh, she's going to UConn, of course, Doug. Do you think she has a chance right away as a freshman to play for these Huskies, potentially 12 championships by the time it's all said and done this year? I talked to her last week, and she, I asked her, and she, she expects to play in the way, she, the way she can shoot the ball. There's a spot for her on the floor at some point. Yeah, she also did play for Team USA, other things along the way. So, all right now, so we have the Player of the Year award done. Now first team, Dougie. Same conference, also going east of college, Horton Bills or Rainey Wilson, Dougie. Yep, Rainey Wilson headed to Maryland, uh, just a junior though, 23.3 points per game. Wilson, the one thing that stood out about her, she never backed down from the biggest challenges, which were usually Ali Zabella and Nina. She always hit big shots, just a, a really good player. Yeah, this list would not be complete without a pair of Notre Dame Tritons beginning with the point guard that was leading the way to three state titles, uh, Trista Feda. Yeah, probably in my mind, the best two-way player in the state. She pressured you offensively and defensively like nobody else. Basically 18 points, seven assists, four steals. Terrific player. I would say the other of this two had a monster, but they had tons of monsters on that Tritons roster. They were very good, but Gracie Gresh making it back-to-back -back Tritons on this list. Yep, the Wisconsin commit averaged 17 points, seven rebounds. Really good shooter. She developed that through her career, and she that because of that, she became Notre Dame's all-time leading scorer. Terrific player. Next up, a DePere girl who did not give up. It was a long road. 
but would eventually end her career on top, at least when it came to conference accolades, as speaking. Yep, Claire Biorgi from De Pere, terrific score. Led the FRCC in scoring at 20.9 points per game. That's where Notre Dame played. They were pretty good. Claire Biorgi, a very good player. Last but not least, almost led her team to a gold ball. The pride of Lena right here. That would be Eva Brooks, Lena Jr., 19.8 points per game, 12 rebounds, a great 6-1 player that she could handle the ball, she could block shots, terrific player, one to keep an eye on next year. All right, so we got player of the year, first team, second teamers all done, but you may, or uh, second teamers and honorable mentions. You can find them, fox11online.com.